right here we have our rocks. Remember, we right click, copy materials from those rocks. And what I want to do is paste this actual material to all of our terrain. So when we do this, it will take um, and start matching. So now we have it more interesting without spending too much time on this. Okay, uh, let's put it some overlays. This is a very base, but I want to put it some grass look or other effects. So we'll select our terrain. We'll double time click to open or right click and open. And next we want to add more layers. So first let's click add layer. And this is basic layer, which is going over. Notice it will smooth out. And reason because right here, but we don't have the bump map and it says replace. If we want to preserve one, go to the bump map and go to the add. This way we'll preserve some of this texturing if you like it. If it's too strong, remember, we can always go ahead and make a little bit smoother. Um, sometimes if we start layering a little bit more, it may work a little bit differently. So right here we have a new layer. And a new layer, I want to create a little bit more sand right there by the edges of the water. So we'll go to select, create a natural grain. A natural grain, I'm just going to select the colors that somewhat maybe represent the sand. So a little bit yellowish and maybe a little bit reddish. So mix of them will kind of work with grain sand for me. Now let's increase roughness so we see more grain. As a bump map, I want actually going to replace. So I want a little bit smoother, but I don't want smooth in all areas, just right there by water. So for this one, we need control in the presence, the altitude slope. I want to be sure it's set to the world standard for altitude slope. And we're going to adjust. If you have a hard time to see, it does work going and switch um, visibility to the marker. So notice when we have it marker, now I can see in a color distribution of this material. So if I go and bring even more down, right on my preview, I can see where is this going. So we'll go a little bit up and we'll add a little bit fuzziness. So kind of like smoother and right this area it's why I want this sand some up here. So it's look good. Let's go back, disable. We'll go call this the sand for now. Okay. And be sure going in a bump map and we're going to replace kind of. Okay, as well, the highlights, we want to pop up a little bit brighter, a little bit more shiny. It's what sand have those almost glass beads. So we'll go apply to this. Let's preview. Again, we shouldn't have it very dramatic, but we should, but we will have it right here. You can see a little bit discoloring going nice application so we do want to apply it but we want to apply it gently in some of those area we could increase again we can if you think it's not enough you can go to the present and just increase a little bit higher on this area again remember you can use the highlights to see area ways that applied okay click ok preview again so now you can see we apply a little bit more smoothing, some in this area right here, around there. Okay, now next let's add some grass. So we'll do same techniques what we've done before. We go to the material editor and we'll add additional layer. Let's call this grass. In this case, we'll go color alpha, same select natural grain. And only we're going to select a grass color. So I want one we need to be darker. So kind of like almost this color, darker green. Okay. And another ones will go and select a little bit brighter green. So the contrast will provide very nice green. You can see right here we have a very, we can increase uh, maybe too much roughness, a little bit less roughness we can play a little bit more with contrast depend which you like it so we'll go a little bit lower kind of create this grainy grainy applying to this okay um so next let's go click and see where is that the green apply so it's apply all areas on a presence i don't want to say go over the sand so i'm going to take an adjustment so i'll go to bring to some 
areas, like around there maybe. A bit less, and I want to add a little bit smoothness or kind of nicer blending on those areas. So I think right there will be a little bit more down actually. So right here, some areas applied. Maybe about 30, 29, let's see 29. Yeah, we have it nicer. Okay, let's disable. Okay, so we applied colors. Um, you always can increase if you need a little bit more on Alpha Boost, if you need more materials. So we'll go back. Let's go now to the bumps. And bumps is set to replace. In some cases, I want to actually go a little bit more to the edge. So we'll preserve some of this roughness that's simulating grass for us. Let's go right here. The highlights, we want to put a little bit more on dual, and let's switch highlights to just a little bit greenish. So give it us a fake translucency almost effect. And we can go render and see what we have so far. Okay. We have a nice um, placement with a good colors at this point. So the next, what I want to do is actually maybe take bumps just not a uh, little bit down, a little bit bumps. And we can start putting ecosystem with a grass and maybe place some rocks around this area. So we can do this way. Okay, let's go to our main rock. We'll go to the bumps. And I want to set bumps 0 0.5. So we'll just make a little bit smaller. Click OK. Let's preview. So it's more, look a little bit cleaner, not as dirty as other times. Okay, and let's give it a nice sandy look, a little bit greenish, it's what we wanted. Remember, this is will be covered with the ecosystem grass, so we want some underlaying, like almost teeny tiny pieces, but we want some of this coloring. Okay, and we can also take this cube and just hide for now. So place it right in this area. Actually, you know what? Let's um, re-enable because when we start with ecosystem, it's help us to prevent the system not to go with other objects. So it's kind of will start avoiding a little bit of this area. So for now, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, let's go work on the ecosystem and other plane in the next tutorial.